there's a great video called Dance Monkey Dance or Who We Are and I recommend you check out this video and it really kind of strips away all our self-importance and magnanimous feelings about ourselves and how advanced and superior human beings are to the animal kingdom and um, just kind of reaping and, and, and basking in our own stream of confetti accolades. This video was eye-opening because it exposes that we're just animals. It really kind of strips away everything and says, hey listen, don't get so high and mighty about yourselves. Not only we're animals, but we're cancerous animals that are destroying the planet, that are destroying others, and that you know have amassed nuclear weapons, guns, um, all kinds of toxins that we're spewing into the rivers, streams, oceans, atmosphere, and we can't even get along with uh, our own family. Uh, most of us don't know our neighbors, and we're just really not as great as we think we are. Yes, the mind is uh, a magnificent thing when properly used. One of the lines in the video it says, uh, "We're the only other. We're the only animals." that think we're supposed to be happy. All the other animals can just be. And I absolutely love that because it kind of was humbling. And the movie Grand Canyon is another, there's another great line uh, in it where the guy talks about sitting at the end edge of the Grand Canyon, you know, overlooking it and just realizing how insignificant and unimportant he is in the grand scheme of things. And there's this belief that's hammered into us from a very young age of, you know, be important, make something of yourself, become somebody, achieve, make your mark, get your money, uh, accumulate all the possessions. And it's like we are in a constant state of devouring, devouring other people, devouring our environment, devouring possessions, devouring um, ourselves, our soul. And once I realized how really insignificant and unimportant I am in the grand scheme of things, it is like a burden has been lifted off. I don't put this pressure on myself. I can just relax, enjoy life, not make such a big deal about things, not get worked up, not bust my ass off for decades and decades and decades, um, you know, so I could have this golden age of retirement when I'm too old to enjoy the fruits of my labor. But I can just live a simple life where I don't need to prove anything to anyone. I don't need to um, have other people's approval. I don't need to uh, have status or power. And imagine, you know, that creates, uh, when, we, when we just kind of humble ourselves and realize how imperfect, how flawed, how messed up, neurotic, psychotic, just blatantly imperfect people. When we realize that, we can kind of just allow ourselves or allow ourselves to breathe because so much of our life energy is consumed with self-obsession on how to improve our life situation. And so many times I have to slap myself in the face. Hey, Steve, wake up. Your life is brilliant as it is. Enjoy it. Go sit in the park, sit on the bench, watch the birds, go to the beach, um, read a book, write. What, just practice being where you don't have to accomplish and achieve anything and you can just, just enjoy life without having to get to the next step or to the future and just be in the now. And that is such a liberating th thing and I think a lot of our own problems and suffering is now I'm, I'm not talking about people that live in you know impoverished countries or impoverished areas that can't have food shelter and water but the ma majority of us in western world have food shelter and water and yet that's not enough we still continuously raise the bar higher and higher and higher and higher and it's like we're on this never-ending hamster wheel or treadmill that we're just never satisfied enough is never enough and when you realize how insignificant, how, you know, a hundred years from now, no one will remember you um, for the most part, and you, you'll be like a vapor. 
And to me, that's not sad. That is exciting because that is just like breaking out of the prison and realizing how free we are. Um, appreciate comments, ratings, subscriptions, and feedback. So thanks for listening. Goodbye.